Buying silos is a long-term investment, so making informed decisions at the time of purchase can save headaches for the 30 plus years of service life a silo is likely to provide. Now, manufacturers can be a great source of information and specifications, but they shouldn't be your only source. And the GRDC Stored Grain Extension Team are here to help with information that's independent that might assist you with your grain storage needs. Remember, when you're comparing quotes, make sure you're comparing like-for-like -like specifications. And remember, when it comes to pricing, sometimes you get what you're paying for. Now, if we're gonna buy gas-tight sealable storages, there's a few things we should be looking for. The first is that it meets the Australian standard for gas tight sealing, that's AS2628. We should make sure that the pressure relief valves on those silos are suitably sized and remember that on larger silos there might be more than one. We also should make sure that the silo is easy to seal and that might include a ground operated lid. Large flat bottom silos like this are supplied with aeration and make sure that that aeration capacity is sufficient. So for cooling you want two to four litres per second per tonne. Make sure that if the silo has rooftop vents that they're also sealable if you're going to fumigate in that silo. And make sure that the silo has ladder access and rooftop access because at some stage you're going to need to get up there. Also remember that if you're going upstairs to wear your safety harness at all times. One of the important features that we need to ensure we've got is that silos are easy to clean out. That's really important from a hygiene perspective. We've got a couple of different options when it comes to aeration in large flat bottom silos like this. That could be full floor aeration or aeration through trenches. Now there is a bit of an issue with full floor aeration while it provides us with beautiful uniform distribution of air throughout the stack. We can end up with material in underneath that full floor and it does need to be pulled up to properly clean it out every year. So that structural integrity of the base and the base cone on elevated cone base silos is really important to make sure that that's nice and strong, but also doesn't impede access with augers for outload. Now what I mean by structural integrity is a nice solid construction of the base, like this one, with, which is made out of Duragal uh, RHS. We've also got an extra steel section here to give that base cone some additional rigidity. Thermo siphons and ground level application systems can be really handy and save a lot of stress putting fumigants into the silo. But make sure that the thermo siphon is adequately sized and the pressure relief valves are also well sized for the silo that you're buying. A few things to finish off our checklist when buying a silo or investing in grain storage. The first is the thermo siphons and ground level application systems for fumigants are really handy and can save us some stress getting up on top of the silo to apply fumigants. The other one is outloaders need to be big enough and a high enough capacity to get the grain out of the silo fast enough for trucks to get it away, but also need to clean the silo and get as much grain out as possible so we have to do as little as possible with the shovel. Now we've got one more video in the series to bring you and that's about when to seal your gas tight sealable storage because there's a few misconceptions about when that should happen. We'll bring that to you soon.